Hi guys, welcome to this third session um, of this acrylic still life painting that we're doing. Um, so hopefully you've watched the um, the previous session where we blocked in all these colours. The first session we were working um, in pencil, so we just did a little pencil line sketch of everything that's going on. We've got the reference um, next to the painting so you can see what's going on and the reference is also downloadable if you want to copy the, the exact um, process that I've used. So. I've already put out the same paints we used last time, so we've got titanium white, um, some lemon yellow, um, phthalo blue, green shade, and uh, burnt umber. Uh, sorry, not burnt umber, burnt sienna. So this is our very stripped back palette, which is what we use for this first stage. Um, we're going to be adjusting the colours a little bit, um, starting to add a little bit of complexity, but partly just neatening stuff up. So um, this is all dry now um, to work over, being acrylic. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be using the same brush as the last time, I've got this bigger brush, or that, that bigger brush that I was using to begin with. Um, and I've also got a smaller little detail brush which I'll be using a bit just to start getting in some of these small, smaller finer shapes and lines. Um, so one thing I want to do early on is just kind of neaten up, there's some places where I missed out bits of paint last time for the block in, so I just want to kind of sew together all the white bits that shouldn't be in there. Um, so I'll just be mixing up those colours. Probably begin just again with a, a little bit of that darker mixture, um, which was just my burnt sienna and ultramarine blue, just kind of like an even mixture of the two as I went for, which made for a nice solid um, kind of dark tone basically. So I'm just looking back at the reference. Obviously I can now Do little smaller brush strokes using this smaller brush. I've got the other one to hand, I'm not sure if I'll use it because I'm primarily, as I say, going to be focusing on these details. So I'm not altering a great deal from the previous session, more of a refinement at this stage. Um, so we're not necessarily adding like loads of blendings or anything. Just kind of neatening up these shapes. And uh, as I say, primarily just getting rid of anywhere where there's kind of glaring bits of white that stand out. This little strip of white here is going to become a stem color when I get to that point. This fresh paint looks a little bit more, um, a little bit darker than what's already there, but I think when it dries, should most probably end up a similar sort of tone. So there's a few places like here um, where these these leaves are overlapping. It probably could have, where I'm kind of neatening up, getting rid of this white. I can probably also just sort of start to spread the, the dark tone a little bit further over that leaf behind. Sort of like a wash.
going to mix up a little bit of fresh paint. You kind of have to keep your paint <clears throat> fresh when you're working with it, acrylic and oils. I tend to be more of a an oil painter myself, so I always forget how much I have to going to keep mixing new tones. Although, as I said last time, I am actually using uh, slow drying acrylics, which I think do sort of alleviate that issue to a certain extent. But certainly you have to still keep mixing Mixing them up more. So you can see mostly I've just been focusing on just shoring up all these little dark shapes here and there, little notes using the smaller brush. And as I say, that's largely what um, I'll be focusing on for this session. So just an opportunity to neaten stuff up really.
So just about there, I think, with those areas that I needed to to make black. Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, so just about there. Then I'm going to mix up some of these lighter. So there's some places I, I haven't corrected because the reason they were left white is because they're, they're a different tone that maybe needs to be lighter. Um, but you can see it's starting to kind of crispen everything up a little bit more, which is nice. So I'm going to mix in some, some yellow now to make it kind of more of a dark green rather than that more neutral dark tone that I originally or I was just working with because there's a few places that need a kind of darker darker green patched in so we've got up here Some places are much lighter greens. Make some white and yellow into it. So just about there, I think, moving this stuff up. A few little extra stems there. Just want to be a little bit lighter.
I'm just kind of blending a little bit with some water some of these darker sections in behind just to make sure those little white spots are filled in So one final thing I'm going to do this session just before um, I finish is just fin just put the uh, the highlights on the leaves. They didn't go quite as bright as they they potentially can uh, because acrylic always takes a little bit of time to build up the color of. So I'm just going to start layering in some pretty much pure white um, where the brightest highlights on the leaves are. We'll probably end up maybe toning it or doing some glazes over these these highlights um, eventually. But for now, I just want to start building, building them up slightly. Gonna cool down some of the highlights slightly. They maybe ended up a little bit too warmish. It's gonna be an interesting kind of little balance as we go between that, the sort of coolness and warmness of some of the, the tones.
It's a little bit of a softening of the edge there, that leaf. And yeah, again, I think that's that's about it for this, this stage of the painting. Um, so we've got everything neatened up now and probably just like one or two more sessions to, to finish this little sketch off. Um, some sort of, we'll be doing some washes and some building up of tone in the lighter areas, um, building up, building up a texture and transition and, and that sort of thing. So probably another two sessions, I think and it'll, it'll end up being kind of like a roughly maybe an hour and a half to two hour sketch in total. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. As always, um, you can follow us on YouTube for lessons from myself and other tutors and interviews and all sorts. Um, and you can click the link through to find out what sort of longer courses um, we offer as well, um, qualifications and longer courses. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you enjoy working on your own pieces and I'll see you guys soon.